talking about it all so welcome to the show baby Big Ski. It's your boy Dusty Joe. Man, we back with another episode of Anything Goes, man. Anything right here, man. Goes. Today we got a special guest in the house. Guess what's your name? Rock Box, y'all. Courtesy of Ryan Rock Entertainment. What's up, y'all? Rock Box in the building. Baby. Hey, before we start up today, man, we'd like to thank our sponsors today, man. Hey, Joe, what we got, man? We got, uh, finally today we got some little samples. From um, Charter's Carousel Creations. Right on, right on. That's our first sponsor. Our second one is um, Elevated Bakery. No. Hey, thank y'all for the support. We love y'all, man. We're going to keep supporting y'all as long as y'all supporting us. We rock with y'all, definitely. Definitely, definitely. That's right. Yo, Rock Box. What's up, man? Hey, man, before we start off, bro, we want to know, man, you got anybody special in your life, man? You married? You got any kids? No, I'm not married, but I, I have a special one. Yeah, y'all know okay. Apple Pie. Apple you know, Pie in the yeah. building. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, yeah, so I'm we chilling. And, uh, you know, it's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got cool. any kids, bro? Yeah, I do. I got two kids. Uh, uh, one 11 and one 27 years old. Man. Right on, right on. Boy and girl? Uh, or? Uh, a boy and a girl. Okay, boy okay. Boy the youngest, and then I got a girl. And uh, they both in Texas. So, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, they both in Texas. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, well, it's our pleasure to have you on the show today, man. Man, you go back, man, like way back. You know what I'm saying? Your family, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, But the people out there don't know about you, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm Rockbox, Michael James Netherly Sr. You know what I'm saying? Actually, uh, you know, uh, I'm uh, CEO of Ryan Rock Entertainment. Ryan Rock Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? In association with Nearsided Entertainment, Uh Wise Guys Global, Uh SES Management, Uh you know what I'm saying? Tidy Bone, you know what I'm saying? Kitty Fetner, you know Uh what I mean? Nephew Mike, Gutter Gospel, Uh you know what I'm saying? The Grimies, you know what I'm saying? Big Ski Entertainment, I could go on and on, you know what I'm saying? And the whole deal is, you know, you know, I know y'all hear a lot of West Coast rappers, you know what I'm saying, from other parts or whatever. From the, you know what I'm saying, the East Coast, Midwest, Dirty South or whatever. But if you come down to the West, you're going to run into us. That's who you're going to You know what I'm saying? Into. Because we the ones out here doing it and been doing it for years. You know what I'm saying? That part right You'll there. You'll find bro. us that we, you know what I'm saying, and there ain't nobody trying to. I know we in the uh, era where everything is a, a trend in it. Yeah. Following and everything like that. But if you cut a tree down, you have to go back to the roots. You got damn right. You feel what I'm saying? How about that? You know what I'm saying? And when you go back to the roots, roots. you go back to the roots, it's back to, you know, you got to do it yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, I'm not ashamed of my age. I'm about to be 50 this year. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I've been doing it all my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got history from California to Texas to overseas already. I got a question for you. Before I did all that. You know what I'm saying? It's... The fact that you said you about to turn 50. Mm-hmm. For some reason, hip-hop is the only fucking genre that have like a stipulation on age. But to you, do it feel like you're at an age where you could keep going or should you retire? Man, I don't think about that at all. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You know about. why? Because I'm doing something that I love. And, and I if don't you don't like it, mother had you, mother love you, mother fuck you. That's the fuck you. Yeah. What? Hey, but see, you know what I'm saying? That's okay. my language, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I really feel about it because I'm doing something that I love, man. You know, I already got stipulations in my life as it is. Yeah. Feel what I'm saying? Already. So, 
I'd rather be doing this music to get my mind off of some of them stipulations okay. that's what's than up. to sit here and stress and worry and all that stuff. So if I'm doing something that's going to make myself a better person and you don't like it, that's a personal problem for okay. you. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not worried about no following. Uh -huh. I ain't worried about no trends. Uh -huh. I'm earning everything I get. That's okay. what's up. Right? You know what I'm saying? And then you got to look at it. Everybody talking about, you know, can't wait back to things get normal or uh -huh. whatever. Uh, it's it's not gonna be a normal thing no more. It's gonna be a new normal. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, and, then, and, and, then, and then, but you know what I'm saying? Before that new normal, it's whatever you contribute to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, but part of that new normal is gonna be these face masks that a nigga gotta wear. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Those I got, hey, shit. hey, check this out. I got some made if y'all wanna get some or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I got the Ryan Rocker one. Get him a little closer to the camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got, the, the, I got the Ryan Rocker one right here. You know what I'm saying? I got the Ryan Rocker one right here. You know what I'm saying? Just DM me and, uh, you know what I'm saying? We can work something out. I could get some more made. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. Uh, and then I got the uh, Rockbox one too. Yeah, uh, fuck with it, y'all. Uh, and uh, thanks to Apple Pie for hooking me up because he, oh, he the one got them for me. Yeah, fuck with it. As a gift. Thank and and, and, and then now, you know what I'm saying? It's like people asking for them, so I was like, I might as well pitch that today. Yes, you should. Just man. in case. And then, you know, shoot, uh, I may have the proceeds go to the uh, the people that's out there doing it. You yeah, feel what I'm up. saying? That's what's up. So uh, it's all that good. Motherfuckers you know hot too, man. I like it. Yeah, yeah, you know. So, yeah, I had to pitch that out real quick. Hey, we love that. But back to, hold on, let me finish what you were saying, man, on that question, man, you know. Because most of the time when I hear, you know, when I hear the age thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's from people that's older than me. But it's only in hip-hop, though. But well, who cares? But you know my thing is, yeah, is you yeah. don't put a stipulation on R&B no, or oldies don't. or none of that, so why do it with hip-hop? I was looking at Charlie Wilson the other day. That motherfucker. And he's still jam. He's still jam. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm my saying? thing yeah. is this, man. It's good quality music, so why put an age limit on it? You know what I'm saying? I'm well, having fun with the it. music I do. Okay, well check it out like this. This is how I look at it too. Okay. The new thing is trap or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I know the trap that I hear now ain't the same trap I heard when T.I. and all that yeah, was exactly. doing it. Mm -hmm. And Yo Gotti and you know what I'm saying? It evolved. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess it did. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't the same trap that no, I listen to. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because I liked it, that trap. It, you know it evolved in a bad way. Even Future and all of them. But when he first started or whatever, man, that stuff was sounding yeah, good. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, Gucci Mane and all them, man. Yeah, because I was out there in the South in Texas for a well, while. Well, how do you feel about the music that's out now, though? I don't know. I don't listen to it. Yeah, you know, like, it's I'm just saying I listen to it every now and then because now I got the Spotify thing going or whatever real good because I make my own playlists and stuff like that and promote that too and you know because I got playlists right now with all our stuff on it called okay. Ryan Rocker Radio. Y'all, really? y'all, y'all check that out when y'all get a chance, yes, man. That's day. on Spotify, right? It's on Spotify, Ryan Rocker Radio. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Rockbox, you got any videos, anything, guys? You got well, any yeah, music coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, well, okay. Well, uh, uh, the last video I put out was called Dramatic. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, and I did that uh, with my cousin, uh, uh, Sharnette Hyder. She's a singer. Okay. okay. She do uh, R&B, gospel, jazz. She bad, you know what I'm saying? Mm. She out there in Dallas, but she come down here, you know, every every few months and uh, get her, because she deal with people down here, too. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? When she hook up, we hook up, too, and we get some stuff done, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm I got a single about. coming out with her soon, uh, later on, you know what I'm saying, uh, later on this year. Anyway. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, dramatics. I did some of the video in Linwood. Okay. You know, and then uh, you know, over uh, by my boy Greedy G House, where it all started at with Jam and Jay. Yeah. Uh, I made sure I got a scene over there by the brick wall. That's what's there, up. Over there at the uh, you know, saying the train part or whatever. You know, going back to the room. roots. You know, yeah, you know, I always try to go back to Linwood. Well, every video I have, but mostly, they, you know, saying they go back to Linwood because, you know, I, I, I represent Linwood because, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, when I first moved to Linwood, I used to stay in the jungle. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? I started off in the jungle, actually. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was rapping and stuff because I didn't want to gangbang. Yeah. Oh, okay. Feel what I'm saying? It's so that, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I ended up knowing everybody and all that or whatever over there and stuff. And uh, 
then, uh, you know what I'm saying, the family got in a situation where we had to move. Okay. Uh -huh. And so my Aunt Doobie, she came and picked us up and brought us to Linwood, okay. right there on Cedar, across the street from Nephew. And then, like, our families go back a few generations. And okay, stuff. So, okay. That's what's up. Like, you know, but, um, yeah, and um, so, you know, that's when, I, and then when I got to Linwood, that's where, you know what I'm saying, I won the talent show three years in a row. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was rapping for K-Day. I used okay. to beatbox for this dude named Carl Delight for their performing arts. Oh, Speaking right. of beatboxing, yeah. man, you was beatboxing in the beginning, yeah. man. Can you yeah. give us another taste of that, man? Okay, Let's check Let them hear what you got. Okay, uh, let me see. I'll just think of something. <laughs> Big Steve, baby, rock rock, baby, Dusty Joe, baby, we in the house, baby. Come on, we gon' fuck around and have a concert. Ready or not, nigga, we stay swift with it. These niggas is trippin', homie, we got a gift with it. I'm Big Ski, my nigga rock watch, we always bragging. Dusty Joe with a beer rat, man, I'm saying. Ain't nobody in this motherfucker rockin' with us. Everybody in the house, you need to be rockin' with us. Big Ski, TNT, TZ, niggas talkin' shit, but nigga, that's the place you ought to be. Hey! We just sit here doing our thing, man. Okay, rock watch yeah, in the yeah, bed, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, I, and I love it, you know what I'm saying? That's just the deal. I've been doing this all my life, man. So growing up, um, who, who was one of your biggest influences to, for you to choose music? Um, To choose music? I ain't never heard, had that question before. It you know, always was about rap or whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or uh -huh. hip-hop. But music, you know what I'm saying? I, um, my daddy was a blues singer okay. on a cool. I guess he did something, but he used to he used to know all of them. He knew okay. Brooke Benton and Wait, hold Bobby on. Blue Bland and hold on. you know and stuff hold like on. that. Yeah, hold so, on, right but now, uh -huh. shit, you just put a piece yeah. to the puzzle with your fucking style, bro. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I told yeah. my wife uh -huh. one time, man, you did a song yeah. a while back. It's gonna be on the big ski of friends. Right, but you were right. doing some singing. I was like. Rockbox got that old goddamn yeah right that old soul you know what I'm saying he yeah. got that 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 blues feeling to him and right, shit now you right. just put a piece to the puzzle right I'm sorry to stop that but no, now yeah, I just got yeah. I learned some shit today. well it's even more than that Steve because uh I got southern roots now I was in Texas for 24 years oh, yeah. yeah. So I was listening to, I was in Austin and San Marcos. Oh, really? And I did shows in Austin, San Marcos, uh, San Antonio, my family, Houston. My family's in San Antonio. Okay, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I know people down there. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I do business with them still okay. to this day, you know. Um, yeah, uh, uh, shout out to Going South Magazine, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they down there, they used to promote for me and everything. And, I used to write a little uh, article every now and then on the going south deal. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? I still, I'll probably get back into it in a minute. We, just, I just been doing so much that I get kind of, you know, became. Yeah, a, you stay a, busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always try to because it's always something to do. Yeah, yeah, if you follow my boy, you know, he stay busy. Matter of fact, give me your social media, man. Okay, my social media, media, uh, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Michael Netherly. You know. Uh, Look that up, Michael Netherly. That's me. You know what I mean. Uh, I have a, a Rockbox page too, and everything like that. So you can go to a to my Rockbox page. Uh, 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 you can go to all the uh, Linwood sites uh -huh. and Facebook. I'm also on the Netherly family page. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and uh, that's just Facebook. Okay. Then the, in, the Instagram is Netherly Michael. Okay. That'll be N E T. H E R L Y and then Michael M I C H A E L. Before you type the whole thing, it should come up anyway. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I'm on, uh, uh, far as music wise, Spotify, all digital outlets. So, uh, I'm also uh, a member of Wise Guys Global too. So you can check me out on that. Shout also, I'm the Ryan guys. Rocker, you know what I'm saying, nearsighted entertainment. Uh -huh. uh, associated with SCS management, That's you know right. what I'm saying. Uh, I got a new jam coming out next month with uh, 
uh, Kitty Fetner and uh, D Cherokee called Grown Folks. Grown Folks, okay. Yeah, uh, Ma matter of fact, speaking of music, didn't you just drop something on 420? Yeah, I did. Indica. Yeah, I just dropped a, a Indica on 420. Uh, that's with uh, Ache De La from uh, Ensenada, okay. Mexico, and right. Scandalous from Street Prop. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've been dealing with them for a long time. Half of my music is coming from Mexico on my album. Okay, oh, really? okay. Yeah, they got beats. Nice. So, uh, uh, shout out. Uh, to Ixor, I think it's Ixoro. Uh, he's one of the producers. Uh, okay. uh, 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 Rubio, he's another one. Okay. Uh, shout out to Achadela too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mexico. Uh, oh, straight wow. up, they got some good hip hop. I've been down there. Me and oh, nephew really? went down there a few years ago uh -huh. and uh, did a show down there. And uh, man, they got everything we got down here, man. It's just in Spanish. Oh, no, okay. They got hip hop. I'm talking about hip hop all the way from trap, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to the reggae dawn, to the boom bap hip hop, yeah. to the G funk. They got all that. This is oh, really? Spanish, bro. Oh, and they do. They they got their whole thing, man. And when you go down there, you know, it ain't none of that. Ain't I don't know. It, it was it was like a a, a spirit of love down there. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. I think me and my nephew was the only two black dudes down there. Really? Really? But we blended in there like it was no problem. Okay, okay. And it's then, you know more. what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh, I know a little Spanish anyway because I can read and write Spanish. I just don't know when I read and writing all the time. But if I hear a conversation long enough, you pick words. Huh? I can hear what they're talking about. Okay. And I still be watching the Spanish soap operas. I'll just do oh, that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I, you know, I come from the old school when black and Mexican was one. And we, yeah. mm -hmm. it took all of us to raise a village. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It still do, though. Yeah, it still you know do. And it's, and it's back to it now. But I just hated when they had the tension for a minute. But because you know what? It was it's like, always you know going to be tension between something. races. But yeah, it will. It, 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 it takes bigger people to get past that. All the time. Because if yeah. that was a problem, bro, yeah. you'd see me and Joe would be hanging. Like right, that. right. And yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, yeah. And different, yeah, you know, so... And that's another thing I wanted to bring into the hip hop. I want to let them know that, you know, we all doing this and everybody got a right to contribute to verse in hip hop. That's and right. ain't no age limit or nothing like that. And if you think it like that, you probably on that selfish tip. Ooh. You probably on that me, me, me shit. Ain't and no that me's. shit is played out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't no me's. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no me's. It's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no eyes. So we ain't in there. Teamwork, that. baby. It's teamwork. teamwork make the dream work. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But from what we doing right now, Right here as we speak to, you know what I'm saying, everything else that we do, it's a unity thing. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. If you do if you do your part and I do my part and put it together, it's gonna get done. You can see it. You God know what I'm saying? Right. You don't have to and if it ain't if it go any other way, the shit ain't right. Man. Hey man. The shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't right. Yeah, it ain't right. You so know what I mean? So far, man, uh this quarantine shit been going on, man. How you been coping with that, man? What you been doing to keep busy, man? Well, man, everything is routine for me. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm a, a dialysis patient. So really? I fall under the underlying stuff. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm so saying? So you got to be yeah, a little yeah, bit more yeah, careful. Yeah, 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 and I do. You know what I'm saying? I go to the same place and then come home. And that's it. That's right. That's okay. right. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I feel like if I do catch it or whatever, I'm going to know where it comes from because I'm exactly. doing the same thing. Exactly. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? They're, they're seen as a new symptom. Mm -hmm. You know, with your organs or... Are failing due to mm -hmm. coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I'm already at that part. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm already. I've been on dialysis for nine years. Now. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, and uh, and I take care of myself. I turn. You know, my whole deal. When I first got on dialysis, I was in Texas. Uh -huh. okay. You know, what I'm saying I was still working. I was working for Gary Job Corps down there doing the RA thing for the dorms. Yeah. Okay. And okay, before that, I was an instructor for the warehouse trade and all that. So okay. you know. And then basically my whole, you know what I'm saying, from when I got out of the military, I've always worked for the government some kind of way. Okay, okay. okay. So when I did end up, you know what I'm saying, getting on dialysis and had to uh, quit from my job and everything and move back home and all this stuff, when I had to do all that, I had to, um, they, you know, they put me down as retirement too. So, really? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. That's cool, chill, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I look at it, you know, and this is something I always love, because a friend told me, he was a uh, World War II veteran, mm -hmm. uh, and he passed away not too long ago, but one of the deals he told me, he said, if you take care of your money when you're young, it'll take care of